So here, back to set point point four. Check first question. Number of elements in A fifteen. Number of elements in A in B twenty nine. Number of elements in A intersection B seven. Then find number of elements in B. So as we have already found up, we have this formula. A number of elements in A in B is equal to number of elements in A plus number of elements in B. Minus number of elements in A intersection. Now A is put down values. So number of elements in A and B ninety nine is equal to number of elements in A fifty. Number of elements in B that you want to find out. And this number of elements in A intersection B that is same. So here twenty nine equal to fifty minus seven eight plus number of elements in B. Transfer this a on this side. Twenty nine minus a is equal to number of elements in B. Therefore, number of elements in B is equal to twenty. Okay. So first question is solved. Now let's study second question. Now second question. In a hospital, there are one hundred fifty five students. Out of which eighty drink tea. Sixty drink coffee and twenty drink tea and coffee. Fourth, find the number of students who do not drink tea or coffee. Now we have such a big problem. We want to solve. Now we have total one hundred students. Okay, keep them inside. Total students. Total students equal to one hundred fifty. Okay. Now, out of which eighty drinks tea? Students drinking tea that is equal to A. So here for T I take the number of elements in T that is A. Okay. Then students drinking coffee. Now, read the question carefully. 
How many students are there? 125. Out of 125, 120 students drinks tea or coffee. Total 120 students and students who drinks tea or coffee. That is 120. So remaining does not drink anything. So here therefore students who do not drink do not drink tea or coffee. So how will you find out this? Total student 125 and out of that 125 120 drinks tea or coffee. Tea or coffee. So remaining do not drink anything. So here 125 minus 120. So the answer is 5. So 5 students do not drink Okay, I hope you understand. Okay, so this are difficult question from 1.4. Third question is simple, quite simple. So why is solving such word problems based on this formula? What to do? Read question, select alphabet for a particular name, and then why getting intersection and union? When you have a question, both, what are you both? This or this, this and this, both. Both means intersection. And when you are given or, this or this, this or this, or, or means union. Okay? So when you have this, the student reads T and copy, that is both, that is intersection. And find out this or this, that means union. That you have to keep in mind. And using that, the remaining you can solve. Now, here I am doing question number 4. Now here, as a time consumes, practice state 1.4, exercise 1.4, question number 4. Question number 4. Read that question. A survey was conducted to know the hobby of 220 student of class 9. So here, I am writing that now. Total students. Total students. 220. Okay. Now, out of which 130 students inform about their hobby as a rock climbing. Students having hobby of hobby of rock climbing. Rock climbing. Check this, these are number of students 130. So for rock climbing, I consider R. So number of elements in R 130. Then continue reading. And 180 students inform about their hobby as sky watcher. Students having hobby of sky watching. That means 
your product number of elements in R union years. That is what we have. First of all, and then we will continue. First of all, as what was given to you, find out this. So as we have formula, we have number of elements in R union years is equal to number of elements in R plus number of elements in years minus number of elements in R intersection years. Okay. Now in this, let's put down that. So here, that you want to find out 130 plus 180 minus 110. Taking this value, therefore, number of elements in R union years is equal to 310 minus 100, 200. Okay. So this 200 student have one of the hobby, maybe rock climbing or maybe sky watching. Now, check how many students are there? Total student 220. And out of 220 student, 200 student one of the hobby. That means the remaining student doesn't have any hobby. So first of all, we want to find out that student. That means students. Having no hobby. No hobby. So, how many students are this student? So from total student, whatever 220, subtract student which have one of the hobby. So, here 20 student doesn't have any hobby. 20 student doesn't have any hobby. This question are you giving you? How many of them? Follow the hobby of rock climbing only. The word only. Rock climbing only. You are given 130 student having hobby of rock climbing. But check this. Both hobbies. So out of this 130, 110 have both hobbies. Now we want students only having rock climbing, no other hobby. So from this, this intersection that value of the subtract will get only. So here, Students having hobby of hobby of rock climbing only. Now this word only. So we have only word from this rock climbing student. You have to subtract student having both the hobbies. That is minus hundred and ten. So answer is. 20. So 20 students have the hobby of rock climbing only. This another question is given to you. How many students have the hobby of sky watching only? So for sky watching, students having the hobby of hobby of sky watching. Sky watching only. So here, whatever student have the hobby of sky watching, that is 180. From that student, what a common student is having both hobbies, that you have to subtract minus 90. So answer is 70. So student having the hobby of sky watching only, that is 70. So here, our chapter is completed. Now, whatever practice set from Bhakta, from Bhakta. What are practice set one? What are questions difficult to you that I have taken now? Practice set one that is homework. And here our first chapter is completed. Okay?